Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. I got to dance every morning. You are aboard flight 737 going nowhere fast. <laughs> flight 419 more like it. <laughs> so, do you know what? Good morning. <laughs> so guess what, guys? Yeah. Today, went to the dressing room and they decided, you know what, Tony? You know your dreams of being an air hostess haven't yeah. been completed? Yeah. How about we put you in something that looks like one of those people who have a red airplane? You know. <laughs> <laughs> so they put me in this. So welcome to the show, guys. We are aboard a flight going nowhere fast. Oh, sure. Um, now, the, be the, the beautiful thing about it, while Tiny decides what airline <laughs> she really works for, <laughs> it's the Cool TV Buddy Show. <laughs> and I must say, you do look like an airline oh, hostess. You do, you do. I'm half expecting you to, you know, come feed me something and give me pillows and a blanket. Stop it. Calm down. <laughs> Not time yet. Did you pay for the first class seat? Oh, get off. Are you... Flying Fre coach? Frequent fly a mile, gang. Is it the economy Fre by the Fre toilet? Frequent fly a mile, gang. You can't get any special treats if you're on the economy beside <laughs> the toilet. <laughs> Nobody trying to get all the way back there. <laughs> <laughs> Evil. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then, today in the world, hopefully it's not the jump um, on an airline day. Oh, no. Today uh, in please. the world is it's a well. really good day. Uh -huh. This is one day that you're going to love. Now I'm bothered. You know, for the past couple of days, you've been liking the Today's in the World. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Today in the World is another good day for you. Today in the World is I am not going to take it anymore day. Are you serious? I'm not joking. Are you serious? There's a day called I am not going to take it anymore day. What happens? Oh, I'm not gonna On this day, you, you just, you're done with <coughs> it. No fuel in the country. You're finished with them. Mm. The presidency, you're mm. done with them. Girlfriends. Your, your salaries, you're finished with your boss. So yeah. today is the one day you can actually stage a protest in the world. So go out there, write That's some things great. on placards. Go out there, protest in front of your company, yeah. your employer, your mother, your father. I mean, <laughs> just, just do it. I'm protesting already. I got a placard. It says bodies. No more bodies. <laughs> Okay. We can't protest that one. We can't. We okay. need more time on buddies. More. That's a protest. That's true. We should stage a protest for it. We need more time. More time. <laughs> so, yeah. So, today yeah. in the world is, um, I'm not going to take it anymore, Jay. So, if you okay. have been maybe harassed or molested or abused in your relationship, <coughs> today is the day you can safely say, I'm not going to take it anymore. And if your mother never gives you the big, big piece of chicken, mm. don't take it today. Mm, yeah. Straight up, it. straight up. Simple. All right. Uh, it's also, <laughs> as much as I love that, as much as I love it, it's, <laughs> AKA take no bullshit day. <laughs> it's also. <laughs> it's also um, pet, pet peeve Wednesday. Pet peeve Wednesday. Pet peeve Wednesday. Pet peeve Wednesday. And what happens on pet peeve Wednesday? Mm -hmm. Things that really take the Mickey. Absolutely. Uh, you know, we, we give out our pet peeves, and we're urging you. You follow us on Twitter at Cool TV Buddies. Yeah. Every Wednesday, just put the hashtag Pet Peeve Wednesday mm -hmm. and send us your pet peeves. We're looking forward yes. uh, to reading a few pet peeves from you guys out there. All right? all right. So can I start? Kick it off. Can I start? I hope your pet peeve is not my dress, my outfit, because mm -hmm. this is everything for me today. My pop socks and my shoes. I'm no. Way too cute. Your outfit is mine. Devil smiley <laughs> peeve. The naughty part. All right, so let's go right. on. So my pet peeve for today, everybody in Lagos, or everyone living in Nigeria who's been to Lagos knows the popular road Ozumba Mbadiwe. It's a very popular road. They, you know, they've stretched it. They've made it really nice. They put a toll uh, at some portions of the road to piss us off, but it's a really popular road. Mm -hmm. Now, one of my pet peeves is a junction on Ozumba Mbadiwe called the Civic Center Junction. <laughs> And how people always get into an accident at the Civic Center Junction. It makes no sense. It's really easy. You're coming this way, you're coming this way, you're coming this way, you're coming that way. Mm -hmm. If you obey the street lights at the Civic Center Junction, if you obey your common sense at the Civic Center Junction, you really shouldn't get into an accident. Now, most times, accidents happen there Friday night, Saturday night, mm -hmm. club people nights and everything. Because, yeah, I, I'll, I'll attribute it to clubbing, recklessness, whatever. But when an accident happens at the Civic Center Junction at 2 p.m. and you're causing like the maddest rush hour ever, I want to ask myself, how did you hit someone by that time at that junction? It makes absolutely no sense. The entire Uzumba Road in particular uh, is a bit of a pet peeve for me because before that road happened, there was never any accidents. And yeah. all of a sudden, the government gives us this really nice freeway and people just choose to kill themselves. So... 
my pet peeve is the fact that you know you have a great set of roads uh, for once in the country, and everybody just takes out their time to go there and have an accident, bash the street lights, try and kill someone else. Could we stop that? Seriously, just yeah. seriously, seriously. Okay. If you have an accident on Lagos Ibadan Expressway, it's understandable, but it's such a short stretch of beautiful it is. And, road. And you know what is? How do you bash someone? I do have an opinion. I don't mind. I, I on your hear, puppy. I if hear your if they could fly going nowhere fast airlines, they oh wouldn't dear, ever Lord. have to worry about driving on the roads. Oh dear, Lord. The roads are so 2014. Get oh. aboard. This airline. No, oh dear Lord. I am, I am smacking the living daylights <laughs> out of somebody in wardrobe and styling. Uh, is, this, is this what I'm going to go through all day? Yes, it is. Tomorrow <laughs> I come like a sailor girl, and then we have to get on board some sort of a... We will ho you wear a sailor girl outfit, we'll host the show from my papa. Meantime. Meanwhile, do uh -huh. you know that if... Uh, mm -hmm. Apart from just talking about my outfit, yeah. does he remind you of anyone... <laughs> Do I have to say it or will you say it? I look like a Negro Captain Kirk from, <laughs> from the Star Trek series. Thank you. <laughs> so we are both on board some sort of an airline. Yeah. <laughs> Scotty, beam me up. <laughs> beam me up, Scotty. Live long and prosper. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this with you guys today. She's right. the air host. Okay, so let me tell you my peppy guys. All yeah. right, people who mumble and then they get annoyed when you don't hear them and then you ask them, what did you <coughs> say? And then, they, and then they say that stupid thing where they go, nothing. You mumbled. Mm. Speak. Even worse, you're my girlfriend. Do you understand? It's, you know, they do, it's that stupid thing. They go, yeah. and then you go, sorry, what? I didn't hear that. What did you say? And they go, yeah. nothing. <laughs> well, save your stuff. I mean, Nobody trying to hear you. <laughs> like, if it's you're your, not going to repeat yourself. Your and then, do you know, I have this friend, when you ask her, what did you say? She goes, I didn't stutter. But you um, mumbled. <laughs> you didn't stutter. Like, it doesn't even pronounce your like, words clearly. Because, I, I didn't stutter. I know exactly what you're talking about. I, it really gets It's on worse in a relationship. Because yeah. uh, you, you have a girl, and you know maybe you ticked her off, or something ticked her off, or she's not in a great mood. Yeah. And then she's going, and you're like, yeah, yeah, what like, is yeah. going on? And then and she's like, nothing. It's like nothing. Ah. Your lips were moving. You were but you spoke. I heard you. I heard a sound come out of you. Do you understand? Could you put them into words? No, know? it's like nothing. And then they say, if you cared about me, you should have heard me. And I'm one of the worst people under such situations because you do that to me, and you know, honestly I speaking, move as on. you say nothing, I move on. And, and that's I move me too. On. And, I and just that like, I'm like, them oh, off. okay, cool. And then they're like, oh, so you're not gonna ask me uh, what is? But so I you really, you, so you seriously did not hear you what I said I <laughs> the first time. And there's nothing oh, worse man. than when you're like on a, maybe you're on a computer yeah, and then person's on you're like, sorry, what did you say? He's like, nothing. Like, well, <laughs> I was working, so uh, let's keep it moving. Do you uh, have another pet peeve? I like that, I like that, I like that, I like that. Um, I have another pet peeve. Yeah. I have another pet peeve, and I would like to get this off my chest. Get it off your um, chest. People who you have to tell something today, and they do it tomorrow. That's you. I don't know why you're, that's your pet peeve. Yes. Okay, so that probably means I wouldn't like myself. You, like don't, myself. you don't like yourself. <laughs> if you met yourself, you wouldn't like yourself. <laughs> that's you. <laughs> no, no, no. Mine is one particular thing. Yeah. But there are some people you tell something. Very simple. Do not do this. Mm -hmm. When you do this, it makes this happen. When this happens, this happens. And I could get into trouble. And tomorrow, mm -hmm. before you've even called them up in the morning, they have done this, this, the one thing, that one particular thing. Okay, let me tell you something. We went to Do a, give me a story. We went to a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Who's and, we? Because I wasn't uh, there. Me and a friend of mine. Me uh -huh. and a friend of mine went to a restaurant. Yeah. And we got to the restaurant, and um, I didn't have cash. Or No, we, I had a certain amount of cash. We ate a certain amount of money. I had about 2,000 plus, uh, which was good for me to eat, but my... Plus size friend chose to eat stuff that you know cost about four thousand plus. So when the bill came, yeah, uh, it was about six thousand something. How did he eat four thousand plus and had only one thousand <laughs> something? I will not go into that. But we kind of paid half of the bill and about three thousand was remaining. Yeah. Now the waiter is a good friend of mine and he said, "Look, M six, you could go when you have the money because our POS isn't working. Uh, you come back, pay, and I'll sort it out." Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I told my friend, I said, "Look." That guy is my friend, so he's just helping us for now. Yeah. But please do not go back and do to the same that thing. restaurant 
for now until I sort it out, okay? So, because I'm going to be sorting it out tomorrow, so don't go back between today and tomorrow. So now, my brother, do, would you believe that the next day he calls me up and says, eh, have you sorted those people? I said, well, he not said, eh, I went there in the evening, and the, the guy was just embarrassing me. They are, where is I six? Da, 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 da. I was like, dude, what did we discuss? I, there's a possibility <laughs> you might come there and the shift has ended and somebody else would be there. You know, you wouldn't get the same leeway. Did I not tell you that when I handle that stuff, I will give you a call and say, hey, dude, I've handled this. Don't go to that place. You know, we still have an outstanding bill over there. And I don't know whether he chose to take a woman there. Oh. You know, don't just hate people. You take them to a joint today for the first time, you come there tomorrow and they've brought somebody else there, you're like, dude. But man. the joint wasn't meant for you alone now. It wasn't meant for me alone, but yeah, how but did you not like... start coming here without telling me? Yeah, but, but how are people going to make money if you started like... And but she told me, oh, I had fun at that joint place yesterday, it was a really nice restaurant, so, blah, 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 I'm going to take someone there tomorrow. Why do you have to inform N6 because you want to... That's why it's my pet peeve, you should inform me. It doesn't even belong to you. You should inform me. <laughs> N6, should inform listen, me. if you have friends with N6, I feel sorry for you. Yes. I, I try, but yes. I mean, I feel sorry for the rest of you who are friends with him. But that's your pet peeve? Yes, it is. That's not even... I there don't, are too many pet peeves. I'm so sorry, but I can't even get... Like, I can't even be in your space right now. I like using pet peeve Wednesday. I just take shots at my friends. Yeah, you do that a lot. And I, I, I need to reevaluate this whole friendship. Oh, thing. get off. <laughs> Moving on. All right, so do you know what? Well, I think we have to... Are we going for a break? We should be going for a break. Okay, we'll do something. We'll go to the zoo. We'll be right back. Um, I do hear they've got a new flamingo section, some rhinoceros at the zoo. We're going to check it. that out, and we'll be back. We'll fly to the zoo. Come fly with me. Let's fly. Let's fly away. It's your camera. Tunde had to say like 10 yeah. times. And I've told you this before. Yeah. You never yeah. ever look at your camera. No, half the time, Tenny's always saying something funny. And I'll turn and look How at How am I saying something funny when you're looking at yourself? Am I on the camera screen? Nigga. Lies. Wait, you wait, wait, hold on. You know the, this central one? Yeah. You are feeling Where's yourself. The the, that's the problem. You're feeling yourself. No. The camera is inside that thing, that box that looks like a mirror. Thank you. This is your camera. This is my camera. And that's the central camera inside there. Stop looking at the central camera when you're talking. Your face is here, but your eyes are there. It's, you're really weird. So now, oh, they, so now what they do is they have to go on wide all the time. Okay. I got it, I got it. Then six. Uh-huh. See the one that's doing a wee or bonga, blah, blah, blah. That's, your okay, cool. that's the camera box there. Cool, don't worry. Don't worry. Say no more. I got it. Say no more. I got it. I got it. Lies he tales, and then when his reflection comes back, no, no, I got it, I got it. He'll be it. like, oh, that so should be making cool. a nigga look cross-eyed and shit. <laughs> I got it, I got it. All right, so one more pet peeve, and then the one video, and then the second. Look at all your stuff is on the floor. The hell, evil.
Welcome back, Earthlings. <laughs> welcome back to the show. <laughs> That's, That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, welcome back, Earthlings. Welcome back to the show. We are your buddies, and I am your air hostess today because mm -hmm. I am flying uh, air hostess. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, going, I'm going straight to... She's the air hostess the for Air India, and from New Delhi, we're going to fly to Bombay. <laughs> we're going straight to the Gambia. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't want to go to the Gambia. I want to go They're to the Gambia. They're trying to kill the president of the Gambia. <laughs> <laughs> we do not fly to the Gambia on Air India. <laughs> just All right, Captain you know. Kirk. All right. Can I give my... You did just say that. <laughs> did you? Can I give my, my pet peeve, please? Please do. All right, now, this is please a do. pet peeve that is a shade... Beyond shade, like oh, I dear. normally wouldn't throw shade. Oh dear lord! But no, normally, today, <laughs> normally, today I'm gonna throw the biggest shade in the world. Hit us up now. People <laughs> who take their children yes to weddings yes. that on the wedding invitation card it said strictly on invitation, which means your children mm. were not invited. Thank you. Now you have brought your little God love them <laughs> to, <laughs> you know, to the wedding. Your and then the rest of us know. who actually have invitation cards have to stand around sitting next to the buffet. And then you people sit with your two-year-olds and your one-year-old. And then some of you have the nerve to bring your nanny. Uh -huh. How are you going to uh -huh. bring your nanny? Uh -huh. To a wedding that says 200 people, uh -huh. invites only. No, they bring the kid. And they tell you, I don't worry, I'll lap him. You know? no, you see, <laughs> that's I mean, a, I get, that's, I don't mind a newborn. Like. Yeah. I don't mind a newborn. I don't even mind a one-year-old. But when you drag your seven-year-old, your 12-year-old, your five-year-old uh, to a wedding that is limited sitting because they already said that in the invitation. Yeah. For example, the wedding we were at a couple weeks ago, uh, our producer, F. Young, knows exactly what I'm talking about. Anybody who was at that <laughs> wedding knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> we were all cramped away by the buffet people while yeah. some little god love yeah. were sitting on chairs. Y'all are not invited. Like, no. you don't even understand what's going on. Forget right? about even bringing children. People who bring somebody extra yes. to a wedding. Hey, let, let, plus one. Let me, let, me, let me kill you. We, were, we went to Dubai for Tiwa Savage's wedding. Mm -hmm. It's a destination wedding. See it's how he overseas. name drops us? <laughs> it's, 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 it's Burj Khalifa. It's, they say 200 people. A man is there with his wife. The wedding invitation says only one person. Say that. Eh. So are you expecting that you leave my wife in Nigeria? I'm like, duh. You know. So. Well, if your wife wanted to be invited to a Tiwa Savage wedding, she should have at least gotten to know Tiwa before. Beautiful. That's how we do. I, I've never given you a more worthy high five. Telling you. So all if, of you who just want to be on this celebrity wedding, I mean, I'm going. No. Okay, I must go. Ah. Hey, they don't know this outfit I want to wear. Hey, hey. <laughs> we will show them. I know I like my man good here. No. <laughs> Do you understand me? Oh, let, let, let me crack it. you guys up. This is just on a random. All my right. mom, my mom and my dad, they're mm -hmm. the most loving couple ever. They've done almost 40 years together. And my mom, I, I think she doesn't really know my dad is a fine boy. So my uh. mom takes my dad. <laughs> true story. So my mom takes my dad to a wedding recently. And, you know, he walks away and he's greeting people, blah, blah, blah. And then some, you know, some women, some cougars in the corner tap my mom. And I said, mm, is that your husband? She now says, yes, it's my husband. She now said, better hold him, bro. You know, events like this, women, you don't know his house. Some women that are looking to catch your husband. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I totally understand why the wedding invitation might say one person. Uh -huh. I'm your husband, my the only person who knows the person. Yeah. But as a wife, you gotta just come along. Oh, please. <laughs> so you look at one of those really that, handsome that fellows. That doesn't apply. Listen, <laughs> leave your little get crashed. Little cross a problem at the at venue. Home. Leave your maids at home. Bring leave your, your children people. along and to remind them. And leave your wife him. or your girlfriend. I don't care. Look, they didn't invite her. She's not allowed to come. Okay. And if you if you're so peeved by it, yeah. then stay at home and don't come for the wedding. More seating for us. At least my handbag will get somewhere to put us. Put its butt down. Okay, okay. I'm tired of you people okay, crashing in on okay, people's wedding. Okay, hostess. Drink a glass of champagne in All first right. class. We'll, we'll, we'll be All back right, to that you. was my, my pet peeve. We'll be back now, to we've, you. I've got a funny we'll video to, to show you. Yes. And we have a creepy video too, but oh, I don't know how that's going to work. But you like do... the good news first or the bad news first? 
Bad let's, news. Creepy let's, video. Ugh, first. Creepy let's do video. the creepy first. Okay, creepy Joe Biden, uh, the vice president yeah. of the United States of America. He was uh, swearing in a senator, mm -hmm. and um, he did something really creepy. He was whispering to the senator's daughter and kissing her forehead. It was weird. Can we take a picture? Let's let's let's, let's look at it. Joe Biden. Oh. Joe Biden. Oh. Joe Biden. <laughs> All right, well, nice to see you guys. Thank you. See you back home, I hope. Okay? Again, she could have been his goddaughter. No, stop it. Oh, she's off. not. She's not his goddaughter. Yet again, she could have been the daughter of a business partner he hadn't mm -mm. seen in ages. Mm -mm. See, it, with the I recent... like the way the wife had to tap him and say, "Hey, control stop the pedophilic it, it. tendencies. Yeah, yeah, control yeah. it. Control hold it. it. Hold it down. Hold it down. Hold because it. because <laughs> recently in the yeah. news, there's been a lot of pedophile. This yeah. pedophile. Remember that story, the Epstein guy. Yeah. Guess and, who he uh, has on speed dial on his phone? Who that? Former president, Mister. Mr. Monica Lewinsky. Oh. Uh, Bill Clinton. Okay, that, that's understandable. He wouldn't get into any extra trouble for that. So, Bill Clinton is on that guy's list. So, after all of that, and then we see this video, it's like, and you see how uncomfortable the girl is. It's kind of like, oh, he does this all the no, time. The girl just been, trying to shift. No, I stand by the fact that granddaddy Joe Biden Ugh. was not being pedophilic. Ugh. It was probably his great grand goddaughter, much. and he was just trying uh, to. No. You it's know, not. Just, oh, no, it's not. Come it on. was creepy. It was uncomfortable, Ew. especially for on a woman's side. All right, let's 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 go to the what world happened. has made us all so sensitive. Yes, we are sensitive. So can't a weird pervert looking no. grandpa, no. Uh, you know, no. kiss on the forehead and weirdly no. hug a young girl? No. Oh jeez. No. Moving Happy on. video time. Uh, this is a, a nice video of a lady who, uh, well, <laughs> if, listen, when they say stay in school, guys, I stay in school. Why don't I? Believe <laughs> So she was trying to complain about the bus service in America, and her her grandma is something uh, worth questioning. Oh no! Let's let's play the video. Oh no! <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Seriously? Nothing out here that has changed. If any group, anything is from it went from worse to worse, sir. In so many apartments, Dr. Supreme, jobs that I have lost due to the buses, and they said this year was supposed to be a totally different change. I don't see what a change is at. We have to sit out here and wait a long periodically time. The buses are nasty. The buses are filthy. The buses is not new. <laughs> That's that plantation English. Guys, that's stay that, in school. That's that yes, a master. Yes, a master. Stay in school. <laughs> we have to wait out here for a long periodically time. She just made up her own words. I'm telling you. It went you. from worse to worse, sir. To worse, sir. <laughs> And then, and then, the, what to experience that is the worst test. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, good. But truthfully, I must tell you, if you have, if you've ever been to the U.S., the bus service is crap. But it's stay in crap. school, it's guys. Crap. Even though it's crap, it's stay crap. in school. Stay Fly in school. Air Tenny. <laughs> you crack one more air hostess joke, I will. You don't need a bus if I you're rolling on you this level. Aeroplane. All right, now it's time for your favorite time of the show, mm -hmm. and it is. The Wasted, wasted time, time segment. Wasted time. And uh, today's Wasted Time is very simple. It's really <laughs> good. It's a great invention. Uh, that, that, that bus driver chick was a pure waste of time. No, but <laughs> let me tell you, education. sx 4 ones on this show. Yeah. First of all, let me explain what a wasted time is. Can I explain what a wasted time segment is? Yeah. The wasted time segment is very simple. It's people who invented stuff that shouldn't have even bothered. Yeah. They wasted their time. Yeah. Now they're about to waste hours. Yeah. But in all good spirit, let's bring you the wasted time. Now, NSX, okay. Today, you're not going to be disappointed. I'm worried. Drum roll. Do your drum roll thing. <laughs> Ready? It's the noodle what, fan. What? 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 Wait, 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 wait. What it's, rubbish is this? It's the noodle fan. How does this work? Look at it. It's working. Come on, Tenny. Seriously? No, but this is... This is a pure waste of time. First of all, where do you plug the fan? It's a chopstick. So do you chopst finalize the two chopsticks in China? Come on, seriously? Why are you bothered about plugging the fan? Don't you think that whoever came up with this thing already put batteries in that fan? Even, even worse. 
Now, God has a, has a fan here. He's given us already to blow on our noodles while we're eating it with chopsticks. It's called exhaling. <laughs> you know, just <laughs> and blow the damn thing. And it's been done for centuries. Look, I don't know why you're, you're angry. At I'm me. angry. What is that? It was the noodle fan. So, for guys, uh, if you are ever stuck, you know how noodles can be. Um, I, I, I implore you to buy this particular I give up. invention. It's really good. And, I give um, yeah. Up. We I might actually, up. we might have those on my flight. On, I, I, aboard I, I give Air up. Tennis. I will never fly your airline. <laughs> I'm not interested. And, uh, wait, you can't even afford us. I give you're, up. you're on economy. We, are, we only fly business noodle class. Fan. <laughs> noodle fan. All right, guys. On that note, we would like to say goodbye. A noodle fan. It was great flying uh, with me and, of course, uh, Captain Kirk uh, from us over here at uh, Going Nowhere Fast Airways. Uh, <laughs> we would like to say goodbye. A noodle exit, fan. Exit properly. Go that way.